going on there, 1-2-0, 2 d 2 Well, I finally got my uh, new gun. This is going to be a longer video. Um, as you can see, it just came in the mail about not even 10 minutes ago. So I'm going to unbox it on camera. <coughs> and um, it's uh, Eva Shockey, the Shockey series. It's the 177, the Golden Eagle. And uh, I wanted I wanted it another one because I wanted to get the suppressor, which this has. And then I won the, I heard about the nitro piston technology. So uh, this one has the nitro piston too. And um, it, with the silencer. And uh, it also has sling mounts, which I thought was pretty cool. So, um, all right, yeah, let's unbox it. I uh, obviously haven't seen it yet. That's just from what I read online. And it's supposed to be uh, very accurate too. Here's the box. Uh, let's read the box to see what it says. Um, it says up to 1,400 feet per second with the alloy pellets and up to 1,150 feet with lead pellets. Um, it has the dovetail rail on it and uh, synthetic with soft touch inserts. And um, it's obviously 177. It has a nitro piston too. Um, it says that you can get up to, you can get coons, but I read online, I've, uh, and I watched on, uh, Aragon Hunter, I might have got his YouTube name wrong, because I watched his YouTube video, uh, on, uh, sighting the sin, and, uh, stuff like that, but, um, I saw him kill a turkey with this, so, I did see that, oh, it has the, uh, two-stage adjustable trigger, and, um, yeah, so let's uh let's go ahead here and open it. I did buy a new scope for it. I'll get to that in a minute. Because that was the only bad thing I read on this whole on all the reviews was the scope was crap uh was crappy. Other than that, everyone loved the gun. See I always get nervous opening because you never know what happens. You know, it's shipped from I think it was what Goodyear, Arizona. So you never know what's gonna happen on the, the UPS trucks. So far, looks in good condition. Yep, all right, let me pull it out here for you guys. Oh yeah, this is a nice looking gun. Oh, it looks, the, this looks plastic. That's surprising. It is plastic. The, uh, the silencer, the barrel, or wait, Okay, that's metal. This part right here is plastic. That's surprising. I thought that would be all metal. Um, oh, it has a, it's soft on the end too. And then right here, those are the soft inserts. That's pretty cool. And then um, I see it has obviously the sling mounts, which I knew that. Hopefully, just a regular gun sling will fit it. Huh. That's different. The, uh, the silencer part on it's different. You know, you, some of them like in the gambo, it's just here at the end. This, the whole, the whole thing, which, what is this? It's unscrewing. Huh, that's different. Didn't know that unscrewed. That's a little bit different. I don't really know how I feel about that. Um, real looks nice and everything. I mean, I do like the the safety on this. Uh, that's the one thing I didn't like about the Remington Express. How the safety was up here at the top. I didn't really like that. I love these safeties here on the bottom, right by the trigger. Because why? Well, you can just flick it right off, shoot, flick it right back on. Trigger the trigger trigger is real heavy duty looking. It doesn't feel like a cheap trigger like the uh, like the um, Remington did. Um, yeah, I, I don't know. I'm a little bit I'm a little bit surprised on the 
this right here. For one, this is plastic, and two, it unscrewed. I don't know. I don't know what. I don't know what's up with that. But I don't know. We're gonna shoot it in another video. This is obviously I haven't shot it yet. Um, I'm gonna obviously shoot it, and then I'll come back with a review how I actually like it. Um, these are obviously the rails, which I'm gonna use the original rails, and then the scope. Directions, obviously. Let's see what the scope looks like, because everyone said the scope was was shit. So I think it's a center point. I think that's what it comes with. Which I ordered another center point. I'll get to that in a minute. Is it a center point? Yeah, a center point. <coughs> Four by thirty-two. Yeah. Just a regular center point scope. Um, I'm gonna put it on for now. I'm gonna put it on for now until I get uh, my other my other uh, scope in. Uh, let me see if I remember it. It was a uh, it was like sixty bucks I got off Amazon, and the Aragon Hunter is actually it was the same one he got because um, the setup he had said was perfect, and I got the uh, uh, domed pellets, the ten point five grain. I got them. I got uh, ordered them too, which they came a while ago. Uh, Five hundred of them. And um, anyways, the scope. It's a center point. It's a TAG. It comes with uh, windage and elevation and uh, the um, yardage at the bottom. But when you look in the scope, it uh, it has like different dots to where you can do the yardage. He was shooting from. The YouTuber I was telling you about was shooting from five yards, and it was dead on to 20 and 25, and then shooting all the way up to 50 yards. So I figure once I sight that in, there, there's this little thing he had taped to the side, a uh, little uh, like cheat sheet um, on how to how to use it. So I'm gonna once that comes, it should uh, be next Wednesday. Today's Friday, so next Wednesday that should come and uh, use the same rails that it comes with, and just put uh, that scope on. It's a little bit bigger scope too. It clears the gun and everything, but uh, it, the uh, protectors don't really fit. You have to squeeze them on there. But um, yeah, I'm gonna go shoot this gun, just uh, throw the scope on and see how far off it is. But uh, I'm curious to see how loud it is and everything like that. Once I shoot it and everything, I'll come back with a review. And uh, obviously then I'm gonna have some uh, frog hunting videos in it. So, um, Frog hunting, I'm going to be excited for that. That's that's going to be pretty cool. Because, I mean, yeah, the 22, it has more power, but these go farther. So this will be fun for bird, too. And I might even try one squirrel season come back to, come back in. Um, I might even try it with squirrel. But, all right, guys. Hope you enjoyed. And uh, I will definitely get a review soon and frog hunting video with this soon, too, also. And I got a couple other frog hunting videos I plan on doing, too, and uh, with... Um, this little recurve bow I have and stuff like that. So, um, all right, guys. As always, please subscribe to I Want to Do Too. See you guys later.